All right, folks, it's time to dive into the mysteries of Tarkov performance. Today, we're tackling the age-old question. Does adding more RAM actually matter in Tarkov if you have a 7800X3D? It's a topic that comes up every wipe, especially since performance seems to fluctuate with each patch. So, should you spend the extra cash on 64 gigs of RAM, or is 32 gigabytes still enough to get the job done? Let's find out. Before we dive into the benchmarks, let's quickly talk hardware. For these tests, I'll be using my 7800X3D paired with an RTX 3080. In previous videos, I've shown why the 7800X3D is the go-to CPU and how a 3080 or 6950XT, 4070, 6800XT, something along those lines is more than enough to max out Tarkov at 1440. For RAM, we've got two configurations, 32 gigabytes, which is what most of you likely have, and 64 gigabytes. Now, the big question is, will upgrading to 64 gigabytes improve performance, especially on the most demanding map, Streets of Tarkov? To find out, I'll be running benchmarks on both the smaller, more contained factory map and the sprawling nightmare that is Streets of Tarkov. I've included both offline and online tests to establish a baseline and compare real-world performance once assets, AI, and players are loaded into the mix. Let's see how it all stacks up. All right, so let's get to the nitty-gritty, FPS. On Factory, one of the few maps that actually runs pretty well, the difference between 32 and 64 gigabytes is, wait for it, absolutely microscopic. We're talking less than one FPS difference on average over three runs. The 32 gigabyte setup averaged 192.9 FPS, while the 64 gigabyte setup limped ahead at 193.3. Groundbreaking, right? Sure, there was about a 10 FPS difference in the 0.1% lows, numbers that usually tell you how smooth the gameplay feels, but honestly, they felt exactly the same in practice. Now, when we head to Streets, Tarkov's version of Can It Run Crisis, the gap gets a little bigger, but still nothing too significant. In the offline mode test, 32GB managed 132 FPS on Klimov Street, while the 64GB setup managed around 140 FPS. About an 8 FPS difference, but then taking it online seemed to even the playing field a little bit. 32 gigabytes holds steady at 108.8 FPS, while the 64 gigabyte setup nudges it up to 111.7 FPS. Cool, but do I really care? Well, maybe if counting frames is your thing, but in the end, both setups felt pretty much identical during gameplay. So a 32 gigabyte DDR5 set will cost you around 90 to 100 bucks right now. For 64 gigabytes, that's a crisp 170 to 200 bucks. Do you really want to spend that much just to get three more FPS on streets? For most players, 32 gigabytes is already more than enough. That extra hundred dollars could be used for something else like I don't know, a nice lunch or maybe therapy after getting head throated by an AI scab with 7.5 millimeter buckshot from 100 meters away. What is with the AI this wipe? Anyways, final thoughts. Should you fork over your hard-earned cash for 64 gigs of RAM if you're already on 32 gigs? Probably not. 32 gigs is going to be more than enough for 99% of you guys. And you'll barely notice a difference in FPS if you do upgrade. But hey, if you're living that multitasking life with 100 Chrome tabs open, running Spotify and OBS, multi-streaming over three monitors, go ahead, treat yourself. I'm not your dad. Anyway, let me know in the comments if you're on the 32 gigs is fine team or the 64 gigs or die squad. Be sure to like and subscribe for more unnecessarily deep dives into Tarkov performance or don't. I'm not your boss. I'll catch you next time.